All right, this is, you're going to fill out an actual table um, using ANOVA, the two-factor two factor factorial experiment with R replications. This is actually a good little cheat thing of how to actually fill out the table. Okay, so um, I can see that A is the number levels of factor A, B, factor B, R, number of replications. So I can see there's four levels of factor A, three of factor B, and then three replication. And then, of course, the total number of observations, taking in the experiment just by multiplying those three together. All right, so this little piece right here is going to help me. Let me make it where we can see that at the same time. It's going to help me fill everything in. So probably the first thing I would do is read, right? Uh -oh read and it no, notice it says the sum of the squares of the total 275 the sum of the squares of factor a 27 the sum of the squares of factor b 23 the sum of the squares of the interaction between these two factors 173 well i can get the sum of the sum of the squares of the total because it's simply this minus the sum of all these other values because they all have to add up to 275. Okay, so I got that. All right, now degrees of freedom. So it says there's four levels of factor A. Look down here. So that would be three. There's three levels of factor B. So that would be two. And then I am going to take and multiply these two values. Okay, so I'm right here. A minus one, B minus one. And then here I am going to take my A, and this is my actual A. Notice this isn't my degrees of freedom, so I guess I'll just hard code this in. There's four levels of A, three levels of B, and then there are three replications. Now that actually is minus one. So I hit enter, I get 24, and the total, I can just simply sum all of that. Okay, now from here, my mean squared for my error equals the sum of the squares, not of my error, I'm sorry, my mean squared for my factor A is the sum of the squares for factor A divided by that degree of freedom. I think I can just take this and copy it straight down. And if you want, you can right click on this and format it, um, I don't know, say to a couple of decimal places, probably looks better than that madness, whatever they tell you to actually round to. All right, and then my F is found by taking my mean square for factor A divided by the mean squared of the error. Now, I'm going to copy this straight down because you can see all three of these have the denominator of mean squared error. So I'm going to absolute value that. So I'm just going to copy this straight down. And once again, I might want to format this. I don't know, maybe this one I'll go a couple more decimal places. All right, and then my p-value, I'm going to use the f.dist.rt. It says, what is my test statistic? My degrees of freedom for factor A. And then my degrees of freedom for the error, which I'm going to, um, once again, I want to copy this straight down. And so I can simply copy, copy. And then I look at that and I say, what's that? Well, that's just scientific notation. So all this is, is it just needs to be formatted in a way you can understand. The minus 0.6, watch, watch right here, says to take the decimal and move it six places to the left. So I need to have at least six or seven decimal places to even see it. And now you see the 1.3 there. So basically this is zero. So again, it would depend on, um, what am I doing? I'm talking and can't can't click. It depends on how many decimal places you want. So say if you want four, then that's basically zero. And that's it. That's filling out this table.